Okay, welcome anglers to the uh, 2019 Daiwa Brim Australian Open. We're here on the Sydney Harbour today at Dremoyne Sailing Club. Alright, we're at the uh, 2019 Daiwa Australia Brim Open on Sydney Harbour, waiting for the start. We've got about uh, 15 minutes to go and miraculously I've actually got all my stuff sorted. I've got the camera on, rods are rigged last night. Uh, and pretty much ready to go. The only thing I haven't seen is the actual harbour in the last 12 months. So no pre-fish yesterday as I was driving home from Victoria. So it's going to be one of those ones where we're flying blind, but the harbour doesn't change too much. Um, fish are in the same spots. The waters are a lot dirtier than I've ever fished it. I think we had a couple of hundred mils of rain in the last couple of days. Nine for six. It's us. will have this weekend after heaps of rain is fat fish. They'll be that fat and gorging themselves. It's ridiculous. It's half legal, maybe. It's a cooper. They're not giants, but they're pretty handy bag fillers. So it's a smaller. We didn't bring any cull tags, so that's gonna be fun. anyway. Let's hope for a bit better one off that. After I got that first one I thought we're on. I thought she was gonna happen. Yeah. All good. Bag fillers, but not where you need to win it, that's for sure. Dude, did that all. That's not even a big fish. No, one of the big ones chew you up and spit you out sometimes. Is that a bag? Mine. Your ass of all day for a chance at a big fish, you get two in two pontoons and cook both of them. Damn it! Damn it! 
that was a real big one. <laughs> yeah, well, I did ask for one more, shouldn't I? Got it. Uh, today, caught heaps of fish. Pretty much everywhere we went, we caught fish. I just really struggled to get a good one. Um, anywhere else, any other time, you'd probably be pretty happy with a bag of 28 to 30s, but in the Olds Open on Sydney Harbour, I th especially when it's dirty, I think I'm going to need a hell of a lot more. Three lost fish in the last 20 minutes is definitely going to stink. Me. So, two of them were 100% giants, and one of them felt pretty good. So, that's it, playing catch up from here on in for the next couple of days, and we'll see how the rest of the boys went anyway. All right, next up. We got the man that lost to Morgo two years ago by 10 grams. How was your day? Well, I had a ripper of a day, hey. I, um, I didn't get a chance to pre-fish yesterday, so I sort of had some stuff in my head and I just couldn't get a big bite all day. I reckon I caught 30 broom and just no big ones until the last half an hour. And then, anyway, we'll um, we'll go and re-rig and rethink about the Hawkesbury's. I haven't fished there for a while either, and I haven't fished a while it's dirty for a long time, so. We'll just go out there and wing it and see how we go. No, oh, you just go fishing and see what happens. Thanks, Chris. Five fish for 3.01. Hang on. Yeah. 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 Sixteen, Chris Hickson. Thrilling flat out started. Four knots. <coughs> Hopefully it's a nice trip. We don't get beat up too hard. Come on. None of them are giants, but it's a really good start. <laughs> like, that's a fat fish. Oh, you can go to the big fella. Another crap. It's more of a dunk back there. Look at that. Yeah, I was thinking it was a baby one. Same as that first one. That's four. It's happening. Cool.
one four. I was there. Twitch a little bit, I didn't feel a thing, just saw it. Kind of thought, oh bugger, I'm not gonna, if he's there, I'm not gonna give him a chance to go around that pole, so I swung as hard as I could. And I got him. I kind of half expected something like that to happen where we went. I was hoping it wasn't, but I was half expecting it with a big tide, the fish get to spread out in the place that you can't get, but to get four really nice fish this morning and lose a big one, I thought maybe it's on, but just, just couldn't get that fifth one for so long. I think it was probably about 10, maybe five poles where I was left to fish for the whole day and I finally got my last fish, so. So today, a different arena, different weather, different conditions. You've got to be good on a couple of arenas over three days to win this thing and we've got some cracking bags gonna come in this morning. A Daiwa sponsored angler up after the Daiwa ad. We have yeah. Chris Hickson, Mr. Risky himself. I went over to Brisbane waters that I'm just gonna get a bit bit cheeky and see if I can sneak away from everyone else. I didn't get the pre-fish here and I didn't know whether it was gonna be really, really good in the dirty water or really, really bad. And I thought Brizzy waters didn't get the rain. I'll go and play the safe bet over there and just get a reasonable bag. All right, who's gonna come up next? We've got last year's champion, Mark Crompton. How are you, Crumo? All smiles today, mate. All smiles. It feels like all smiles in that bag, mate. It's afternoon. Well, here we go. First bag for the tournament over five kilos, 5.33. Awesome job. Just we got two seconds. Good luck today, Crumo. Yeah, cheers, mate. You too. All right, well, it's day three. Um, Sydney Harbour today, Hawkesbury yesterday, Sydney Harbour the day before. Um, currently sitting in first with about a 900 gram lead. Um, I think at the moment my sort of thoughts about, I've sort of been asked about confidence, about how, how, how I feel about today. I don't think, I think confidence is a bit of an illusion. So I'm just gonna go out there and just fish my little ass off and try and um, concentrate on just not having a game plan and just flowing through it as I would normally fish socially. So. That's a, that's a very difficult thing to get your head around to try and do, <laughs> especially when you're in this position. It's, it's definitely hard to try and block out what's actually going on. Seven o'clock, boat number one, Mark Crofton, you're right to go. Come on. 
and I died. But I missed your I'm a crab. Little custom crab. These are ones I've done myself. They're a Sydney Harbour, sort of special. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we want to fill the bag with a couple of those bad dogs. I honestly thought that that fish was going to be too close into the structure and he was going to wipe me. That's a 31. That's definitely going to help us a little bit. I want that to be my smallest fish in the bag at the end of the day. I've probably got about 2.8 kilo. Um, I honestly don't think it's going to be enough to, to keep you in the top spot, but it might keep us up in the top five, maybe. But um, we'll wait and see. I'm a bit disappointed I, I couldn't get a kick. I would have liked to have got something decent in the bag. But anyway, it is what it is. We fished our ass off, so <laughs> can't ask for any more than that sometimes. Okay. We are live and we're back on the final day of the 2019 Daiwa Brim Australian Open. Here is the final day on Sydney Harbour today at Dremoyne Sailing Club. How are you Chris? Better than the last couple of days. And you've got five in the bag there and that's gone 4.45. Definitely right, you should have done what you did today on day one. Yes. <laughs> Cheers mate. Thanks Chris. Wow. You can't write these stories. Thanks, you can never imagine it. So that's means there's only one man to come. I'm going to make you wait there and I'm going to get you to give the mic to Mark Crompton. I did what I did, I swung for the post and um, I just couldn't get those big bites. He needs 4.08 to take the lead and before I put them on the scales... No, don't say it! <laughs> Be quiet, right, I'll let put the, them on the scales. I'll let the scales <laughs> tell the story then. <laughs> And Mark yeah, Hoffman has 2.95, Jamie McEwen 
you are the Daiwa Australia, Brim Australian Opian Champion 2019. Wow. That's yours for a year.